What is going on, everybody? Out on this beautiful day. Just kidding. It's cool and it's cloudy and I can feel the mist. It's not supposed to rain. I looked at the radar. But anyway, today is March 9th, 2024. It is 3.09 in the afternoon and it is 55 degrees and cloudy. And it's pretty cool out here today. So I haven't been up, well, I've actually been up to quite a bit today. Uh, I made a math video before I left to go on the bike ride. And I made a gaming video before I left and got both of those uploaded. And now I'm going for a ride. Nowhere to go. Uh, we might go somewhere tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to be so cloudy and, and not as cool tomorrow. Uh, so we might go somewhere tomorrow. I don't know. And we'll see. But definitely Monday and Tuesday we're going to have to... Well, I, I got to go get the oil changed in my vehicle. I start back to school Wednesday, so I need to change the oil. Uh, oh man, you'll never guess what happened. And <laughs> somebody commented on the, on my last video, letting me know. Uh, well, it's when I went to Walmart to the, to do some grocery shopping. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but one person did. I'm not gonna say the name because I don't know if they want me to mention their name in the video, so. But, uh, but I appreciate you bringing it up to me. Uh, well, when I went to check out, and you can go back and watch the video, it's the one right before this one. When I'm checking out, I scanned in everything but my drinks my case of Diet Dr. Thunder. I didn't scan it in <laughs> and just walk right on out. And I think I post I think I recorded that video a couple of days before I posted it. So uh so yesterday I'm recording this on a Saturday, so Friday I, I ran up to Walmart to get some stuff to make spaghetti and meatballs. And uh, I got up there, I paid for all my stuff, and then I went over there to the service desk and I told them what happened. <clears throat> and when I told, that, I told that lady, I said, about three or four days ago, I came in here and got some drinks and I forgot to scan them in and pay for, pay for them. Her eyes got about that big around. She couldn't believe I came in and told her. So I did pay for them. And, and she thanked me for being honest, but you know, that's what you're supposed to do anyway. So, so I got that taken care of. And that is not, actually, believe it or not, that's not the first time I've done that. I've walked out of Sam's and forgot to scan something in and realized it when I got in, uh, in my vehicle, so I went back in there and paid for it. And I think I've done it one other time at Walmart. I, I caught it when I, uh, when I got to my vehicle. But going to Sam's, that's pretty easy not to scan in. I use the app to scan it in and uh and sometimes when you get the bigger items you put them down there at the bottom of your basket of your shopping cart and then you just forget to scan them but i don't think i've done it any other time so i got a car behind me but no, I figured I'd just get out and, and go for a little ride today. 
get out of the house a minute making that video and made me a bowling video and I thought I was getting better at bowling but I finished dead last again so there you have it well I got I got work starting up again Wednesday so I got to get ready for that probably starting tomorrow I might start getting things together for my for my classes oh and <laughs> I screwed up another thing too and I was sitting there I got a I got an email from a student saying uh I got a, you, you recorded a C in boss. Boss is what, where we enter the grades in. And it, you know, it, it uploads it to the school so they can get the grades and put it on their transcripts. But I entered the grades in on boss and he emailed me and said, uh, had a C in the class and they didn't understand because the grades I had posted for him forum in canvas which is an online thing we have where we post all our documents and stuff uh, he said it just doesn't look like it matches canvas and i said oh okay here we go we got somebody we got another student that can't average their grades right and so uh i went in there and looked at my spreadsheet at the grades I made a, that student made an A on every test, and I entered in a C, so I looked, and the person right above them had a C, so I guess when I was entering them in, I, looked, I was looking at the persons right up above theirs, and so now I've got to do a, I've got to do a grade change form. I'm telling you, I'm getting old, getting old. So, so we'll get that taken care of when school starts back up. But no, I figured I'd come on a short little ride today. Nothing too long. It's too cold out here to be riding. Well, we don't have nothing, nothing behind us. We've been playing the new putt-putt course the last two nights. That's been fun. That course is different. It's different. It's got, it's got little ice rays coming out and when your ball goes through it, it turns it, to an, turns it into an ice cube. And so you're putting an ice cube. It's not bad when you're putting it across the ice, but when you're putting it on just dry, turf that thing just bounces all over the place you can't get a good putt on it this is pretty fun though it's it's different so oh and then i was i was looking on facebook and uh And the, the news, the local news station, I follow them on Facebook so I can, you know, see the news and stuff. But anyway, they posted on there in April, and I don't know if I'm gonna go, I'm, I might ride my bike over there or something just to look at it. Uh, but in April, I think for four days maybe, the world's largest duck is coming. It's like one of the, you know those yellow rubber ducks? It's that. And evidently it's supposed to be six stories tall. So I might ride over there and take a look at that if the weather's, if the weather's not bad. 
we'll go check that thing out. But it's supposed to be coming here in April from what the news article said. So that'll be pretty neat to look at that. I can say I saw the world's largest duck. I don't know, it might, I don't know, some of you might have seen it. I, I guess, I guess evidently from what I gather from the article, it travels all over the country. So I don't know. It's supposed to be in downtown West Monroe. We actually need to go down there to downtown West Monroe to the post office one day. Actually, actually, when I get home, I need to hop in the car. It's 319. I need to hop in the car and run out to Sam's. I got to get some water. And I've got to uh, get some cat food. We have no cat food left. We buy that big old 30 pound bag. Uh, so I got to get some cat food, water, and we need to get some cat litter. We've gone through all of that. Got a car coming up behind us. So we got a few things out there we need to get. Got to figure out, figure out what we're gonna cook for supper tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, it rained, let's see. Was it yesterday? I think yesterday it rained. You can see the water. I guess you can see the water on the road. Yeah, this weather here is crazy in Louisiana. Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company. driving fast down the road. Got another car coming up behind us. Well, I guess this, this road's busier than what I think. I didn't think this road was busy at all, but I guess it, it is today. Look at all these cars we passing. Tell you, it feels good to get on here and pedal. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been pedaling a lot more than I normally do. It feels good to just move your legs around. I tell you, my shoulder is kind of sore from that bowling. We bowled, uh, we bowled last night. We got a bowling team. That's bowl, I, when I say bowling, bowling on the VR. That premium bowling, boy, that's a good game. 
if you like to bowl, get that game. It's really good. It's got live tournaments, league play, all kinds of stuff. Well, we got us a four-person team, and we were all in there last night bowling our weekly series. We were... When we left last night, when we finished up, we were 23rd out of about 53 teams. So we each bowl three series, which there's three games in one series, and it takes each of ours, each of our best two series, adds them up, and then averages it. And that's how it gets our score. And then I also bowl, bowl in a league where it's single, it's just me by myself. But, uh, and I've played in some of the live tournaments. Those are really fun. Yeah, those are fun to play in. But yeah, that's a, it's a really good game. And it's, it's amazing how realistic it is too. Well, we're just about back to the house. I think I'm going to call it a video. I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate everybody watching my videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.